Good morning, everybody. It's Monday, a new week has begun, and a new trip is beginning. But first, before we go to the truck, I've got a doctor's appointment, so I'm gonna go in there and say hi to the doc, make sure I'm all good to go. Diesel's gonna stay in the nice air-conditioned cab here, right, Diesel? All right, you're gonna enjoy the air conditioning, in case people are wondering. And from there, we're going straight to the semi. We're gonna hook up to our load. Well, I'm already hooked up to it, but I have to strap it down. It's that same lumber load that I picked up in Alberta last week. I'm pulling it down to Minnesota this week. The thing is, I took my straps off of it, so now I gotta restrap it. Oh well, it shouldn't take too long. Let's get going. Well, got out of the good old doctor's office. Got myself some paperwork that I can go get some blood tests next time I'm home. I have three months to get it done yet, and it's nothing urgent or an emergency or anything, so I'm gonna wait till I get home, because I gotta get on the road right now. We gotta be in Minneapolis tonight, yeah. Just have the Tim Hortons here off Reimer and Steinbeck. They, to they totally redid the outside now. It looks very nice. Let's order. I don't even know what I want. I walk into the morning to take your please. Sure. Could I get a large coffee with three cream and a shot of espresso? And a grilled cheese melt sandwich, please. For sure, put that the regular grilled cheese or do you want to have bacon? I'll put some bacon on there, that'd be good. For sure, donut, muffin, or wedges to make that a combo? Sure, I'll get wedges, please. Any dipping sauce for you today? No thanks. All right, so a large free cream, shot of espresso, with bacon grilled cheese melt, and then the wedges? That's right. Perfect, I'll just have your phone ready at the window. Super duper. I'm still waiting for the day I find someone in the drive-thru that'll say awesome possum back to me. Remember that? How long? How many of you have been watching my vlogs that long? I used to always go to Tim Hortons in Sage Creek in Winnipeg. That's on the southeast corner of Winnipeg. And I would always say super duper at the drive-thru. And every time I said super duper, the guy would respond with awesome possum. <laughs> the only drive-thru person I've ever, ever been like on an equal level of nerdness with, you know? He's just as nerdy and weird as me. We are ready to rock and roll here. Got the lumber on here. Three on the back, five on the front. I don't know if you remember from last week, but that cover got ripped off that top one in the wind. Went through some crazy wind on the way back here. Ripped that right off of there. But still good. Let's take this down to Minneapolis area. Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. So we're in Fargo, North Dakota. This is the next morning, but we're just gonna act like it's still today for you guys. Didn't film anything on the way down here. It's just the first day on the road, right? Just get it over with. The first day on the road is always a little bit uh, slower going. To me, it feels like I'm more, I don't know, just trying to get back into the swing of things. So today we're gonna go and deliver this load of lumber that I have behind me here. Have I showed you it already? Yes, I did. Yes, I did yesterday. We're going to go deliver that, and then we're going to drag the empty step deck over to, uh, I believe we're going to Owatonna. i got to call in and ask them to resend me my, my information on my reload. I don't want to go all the way over there and find out I'm supposed to be like in Montana or something. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Always know where you're going. Trucker Josh advice. Always know where you're going before you go. You can write that down. I am full of these golden nuggets of information for you. All these tips and tricks, you know? Just saying. Always know where you're going before you go. Let's text him, where's my phone? Oh, it's in my pocket. Tip number two, always know where your phone is, especially if it's in your pocket. I'm gonna, actually, you know, I'm gonna give him a call. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was working out. <laughs> I got a truck wash last night here at the Blue Beacon in Fargo. 
uh, over at the TA. And then I came over here to the Flying J to use their Wi-Fi to upload some vlogs tonight. However, in the middle of the night, my computer decided, nah, log me off. That wasn't very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. So I didn't get anything uploaded tonight, so I'll have to stop at a Flying J again. The reason I stop at Flying J is uh, to uh, get the best Wi-Fi. I think they got the best Wi-Fi in the parking lot. I'm not partnered with them anymore, but uh, I still like their services. And I really still like their trucks, mainly because they have Flying J's in Canada as well, so I can still use my rewards card on both sides of the border. That's the big thing for me. And it was really cool to work with them for two years. And this year, life is just so busy, you know, a lot of things going on. Uh, married now as well, got a bigger property to take care of. I just haven't really signed on to any kind of brand deals or sponsorships this year. Actually, for the past year, I haven't signed on to any new ones. You'll have noticed that I probably, you'll probably have noticed that I haven't done any advertisements or haven't responded to any sponsorship requests. It's not that I don't want to work with companies that, you know, that I like. I only want to promote products that I actually like and use. And I don't mind partnering with them and whatnot. But uh, I just haven't had time this year. Wow, this is a busy road here right now. Usually we don't have to sit here this long waiting to get onto this little side street. Rush hour in Fargo, North Dakota. Watch out. Another vehicle going there. Wow. I'm surprised. All right, let's get ourselves going here. Take a look that way. Take a look that way. All right, we can go. I kept that, you see that uh, top bundle up on top of my trailer there? The wrapper stuff flew off of it, and it's got barcodes and stuff on there, so I kept the wrapper over there. If you're wondering what all the garbage is over there, I don't like seeing that there either. I think it looks bad, but that's the wrapper for that, just in case they ask, you know, hey, what happened? I'm like, well, it flew off, but it's right here if you need, like, the barcodes on the side of it or something. Turn left on 32nd Avenue South. This guy's getting out of his truck at the light. What do you do? I hate it when people do this. Why don't you pull onto the shoulder of the on-ramp or something? Okay, good, he's done. I thought he was going to start tightening his straps and stuff. <laughs> really, buddy? <laughs> At the light? <laughs> uh, oh, well. He was just checking something. Probably just making sure that he had tied something down or something. Anyways, enough talking, enough jibber-jabber. Let's get out there on the road. Let's deliver this lumber. It's weighing me down. Let's get it off. All trucks over 10,000 pounds, next right. Open when flashing. It's flashing. Can't deny that. So I'm sitting pretty heavy right now. I am legal, but I'm pretty heavy. I'm about 79,000 pounds, maybe a little bit over. I'm allowed to have 80,000 pounds gross. And I have it evenly distributed across my axles, so I am legal. But they're probably going to want to see me a little closer. They're probably not going to let me bypass. Let's see. We go through this here, a little preliminary scale. They'll take a quick little peek. And then these two arrows above the road ahead of me will tell me which direction to go. If I go right, that means they want to see me on the scale. If I go left, that means they want me to bypass. And they want to see me on the scale. <laughs> of course they do. Because I'm fat. I'm heavy. They're going to want to take a little bit of closer look to make sure that all my weight is distributed properly. I'm only allowed 12,000 on my steer tires. 12,000 pounds. 34,000 pounds on my drives on the back of my truck and my trailer, both of them. That's about 15,400 kilos. And about 5,400 kilos on my steers. Okay. 
kilos or kilograms? What do you what do you guys call them? I go by pounds. In Canada, we go by kilograms, but uh, everyone speaks in pounds. <laughs> See, they get you to pull on the scale here, and then they'll take a look at each one of your axles to make sure you're not overweight. All right, here we go. They'll also run my plates and run all my DOT numbers, make sure that the truck is insured and legal. Oh, Mandy, we got to talk to the good people here first. We got to let them see us first. Watch the stop here. Okay, so we are at 32,200 on the drives, 33,980 on my trailer. Legal. 78,000 pounds. I thought I was 79,000. Even better. And my steers were sitting at about 11,400 there, I think. And they gave us the green light. They said, get out of here. All right. When they say get out of here, you get out of here before they change their mind. Another tip with Trucker Josh. If the trucker cops say go, go. Don't ask questions. Just go. Don't dawdle. Don't take your time. Get out of there. I mean, don't speed out of here, obviously. Like, don't be reckless, but don't waste any time, man. Get out of there before they see something that they want to see a little closer, you know? Okay, we got about a half hour to where we're going to be delivering this lumber. I'm actually exiting the freeway right up here. There's a sign for Detroit Lakes right away. I wonder why they call it Detroit Lakes. This is Minnesota. I thought Detroit Lakes would be in Michigan. Whatever, whatever. Whoever settled the town probably really liked Detroit. Maybe they came from Detroit, you know, before Detroit was Detroit of 2018. <laughs> it used to be a lot nicer of a city. I'm not saying it's not a nice city now. It has its nice pockets. But I've been there many times. It's, uh, it's... It needs some renovations. I'll say that. Uh, I'll kindly say it needs some renovations, but just some parts, most parts. I mean, you don't need to tear it down or anything. Just maintain it a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> I'm just joking around. Detroit's a beautiful city. It does have its problems, but hey, every city has its problems, don't they? So, Daisy, you want to tell them where we are right now? You want to tell them, or should I? Fine, I will. We're at the reload already. We uh, dropped our load of lumber, and they were so fast getting it off, I barely had the straps off of it, and it was already unloaded. So I'm going to end the vlog here, and tomorrow we're going to go from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, to Owatonna, Minnesota, where I am right now in the future. And it's going to be fun. I hope you tune in. If you like my vlogs, Please give it a thumbs up. Helps me with the YouTube algorithms. What helps me the most, though, is if you go and subscribe and hit that little bell beside the subscribe button so that whenever my vlog does go live, you get a notification. I'll see you guys tomorrow.